Uh, today we're here to talk about getting on with the job of building the inland rail, building that highly efficient spine between the Port of Melbourne and the Port of Brisbane. As you would well know that we've had a symposium here, a Transport and Logistics Symposium, uh, for the last uh, two days and we've concentrated particularly on the inland rail and I think there's been a clear consensus around the inland rail around about three points. First of all, I think that's, it's obvious that, the, uh, that we want the rail to be built. We want the government to include it in the 17-18 budget. We want to make sure that it's appropriately funded over the next five years forward so that uh, we have, there's no doubt about the inland rail. It's such a critical project and it joins all the producing areas in Eastern Australia. It goes from the Port of Melbourne to the Port of Brisbane and uh, <clears throat> we want to make absolutely sure that there is no doubt following the 17-18 budget, which will be delivered, I believe, sometime in May. The second point is that we want the government to determine the optimal, optimal route from port to port. Uh, the Queensland Government, we hope, will come in and provide the necessary paperwork uh, for the gazetting of the line from Gary uh, through to the Port of Brisbane and make sure they do some solid studies on the best possible way to get that to happen. That's a critical part of it. And the final thing we'd like to say is that we would hope that a major part of the inland rail project and one of the most expensive parts and that is the tunnel through the Toowoomba Range here, can be commenced sooner rather than later, following the approvals from the State Government, because it is catalytic to the project, and it's part of the project that really needs to happen up front, so that uh, the rest of the project can then proceed.